Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. And today in the world of indie games, we're going to check out a brand new game called Reg. And this one is going to be a really, really interesting one. Now, I don't know what is about fishing games. For some reason, I'm really enjoying them. But this one is quite different. Something that we have never explored before. It is a fishing game, as I was saying. We're going to be exploring with our boat, try to find the fishies that we're looking for, sell them, make a profit, and uh, enjoy. But... This thing is also kind of combining a hard aspect to the game uh, with the fishing mechanics, which uh, I'm not really sure exactly how it's going to go and how it's going to work. But you know what? I'm quite curious to explore. And if you guys are as curious as I am, make sure you leave a like down below and uh, let's just dive right in. Let's do this. This game also has a really, really beautiful art style. Job listening. Or listening, actually. Angler wanted. And I'm going to be guessing, is this... Is this my character, I wonder? I'm gonna be presuming this is gonna be us, yes, but as I was saying, guys, it is gonna be a very, very creepy game. Oh my god, what the... I don't know if this guy is me or not, but apparently we just hit the island that we're just about to uh, explore here. Alright, and there we have it. Now, let us see, is that gonna be my character, the one that just... The morning light fills your eyes, and you try to sit upright. You're lying on the cold, wet dock where you collapsed the night before. Ah, so it was us. I get it. A short man is shouting orders at a handful of workers. It's embarking from a boat nearby. The man notices you. Oh, welcome to Great Marrow. I must say, quite a dramatic first impression. I see you've already introduced yourself to the jagged rocks along the bay. Did you not see the lighthouse? It was shining right at you. Ah, uh, well, I'm glad to see our new fisherman upright and breathing. <laughs> your boat was hopelessly damaged, but I've had a few of the locals move your things to one of our vessels. We'll catch up later to discuss more details. I'll let you get out of there to catch some fish. See if you can fill your cargo while you get your uh, bearings in the light. Hmm. Finally, I don't suppose I need to say this, but get back by sundown before the fog rolls in. Keep a close eye on the time. It can really creep on you. Hmm. Okay, so apparently I am now right, uh, actually free to just undock and explore the waters. Awesome. And of course, I am playing with the mouse and keyboard here. Um, just because I feel like it's going to be maybe easier to explore this game. Rotate the camera. We have the option to do that. Move the fishing spot. Look for splashes on the surfaces and, this, and then press F. To start fishing. Ah, there we go. And I think I just got myself a blue mackerel. Species data added to Ency Encyclopedia. Oh, and then you gotta make sure you put it in your inventory here. You gotta make sure you put it right. This is such an interesting game. Look at that. We got another mackerel. Let me try to fish some more. Is this gonna be just mackerels? Uh, apparently it is. Okay, let's try a different spot then. Let's see what else we can fish here. Because there are quite a few fishing spots as you guys can see. Let me try this one out. Uh, this one may be a little bit different. Oh, look at that. We got a cod this time. Uh, can you also rotate? Oh, you can also rotate the fish if you want to place it in a different way like that, for example. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Alright, let's try again. And another cod. And one more maybe. And another cod. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let me rotate and place it here. Okay, in that case, let's also explore this one. Oh, so eventually that one finished up. Ah. Uh, that thing said something about time only advancing. Uh, medium, you don't have the right equipment to... Uh, ah, so I don't have the right equipment to fish here. Uh, the time only advances when you're moving, fishing, or taking other specific actions. Ah, so if I sit still, apparently time is not going to pass. Interesting. I'm really loving the look at this game, though. As I was saying, the art style is really amazing. Something I haven't explored before in a video game. Okay, so these are only mackerels here, apparently. And let's do another one, maybe. And one more. Uh, that's gonna be it for this one. Let me keep on moving. Let me see if I can get uh, different types of fish. That one kind of looks like a huge fish over there, to be honest. Hold up, let me try this out. Maybe I don't have the right fishing rod to catch this because this kind of looks like a shark. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to have the right... Uh, yeah, I definitely don't have the right fishing rod for this one. 
Uh, so let me move on to, I guess, over here. So it's already currently 5, 5 p.m. Man, time actually passes so fast. And I see a bottle over there. No, I cannot grab this. Let me see if I can grab me this bottle. Set your lights by holding E when toggling them. Ah, so you can activate the lights. Wait, how did I activate the lights? Uh, collect. Huh. Added something to the cabin. Uh, select your lights by holding E, then toggle them. How do you... Oh, so we select it, and that's how you toggle them. Okay, 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 I get it now. Oh, you know what? Nighttime has actually creeped in. So I feel like I may need to go back home. Oh, God. Uh, of course, I had to hit full damage. No, we lost some uh, mackerel. I can't even game. Oh, my God, but nighttime looks so horrible. Uh, exposure to the fog and other things increases your panic. Bright lights and sleeping will reduce it. Can I dock in here? Oh, you can't dock. Hey, you look lost, fisherman. Are you after someone to sell your catch? Uh, Greater Maru is on the west side of the bay. Keep an eye on the lighthouse, eh? What do you want to get lost? No. Oh, you can also trade with this fella. You enter a delightful lit shop. It's packed with antiques, the shelves full of jewelry and other uh, bubbles. An old man peers at you over a silver spectacle. Hello, is that? Oh, no, I don't believe we met before. Uh, forgive me, my eyes aren't what they used to be. I specialize in antiques and jewelry. I'll purchase any special trinkets you happen to have. Have you got anything nice uh, for me today? Unfortunately, just fished. I'm pretty sure he's not gonna want that. Oh, look at that, so we did get damaged. I definitely have to try to pay attention whenever I'm um, exploring the boat because it's quite easy to hit uh, something and get damaged, apparently. Yeah, I definitely have to pay attention. Oh, God. I don't love the sound of that. Can I fish here a little bit, I wonder? Yes, we can. All right, all right. Let's try to fish. Oh, that's an octopus. I got an octopus. No way. Let me try again. There's another one. There's another one. Ooh, there's another one. Oh, and that hole is damaged here. Look at that. That is so cool. And I'm not going to be able to catch another one because I'm not going to be able to place it anywhere. Also, the spot is empty. Uh, let me try to make my way back to here. Oh, what is that red thing coming out of the water? As I was saying, this is a very, very creepy game. Um, and I think if you go around and go to that spot, I might be able to find something. Oh, something slithers into your cargo. What? No, I don't like the sound of that. Alright, let me dock. You step onto the dock at Greater Maro. The mayor is waiting nearby. Ooh, I see you returning one piece. Very good. Before you head on off to the town, uh, we should discuss the matter of your boats. As I mentioned earlier, your old boat was too badly damaged to be re repaired. However, I'm more than happy to sell the replacement vessel, yours to own. I understand you may not have the necessary funds on hand, so we'll consider it a loan. But I want to make this easy for you. Until your debt is paid, uh, a tiny portion of your fish sales will go towards uh, paying it off. A small amount of interest will go towards improving the town. So to recap, you'll need to sell the fish to the local market paying off your debt and, in turn, keeping the population fed and satisfied. Understand? Hmm. Where do I sell the fish? Uh, selling the fish helps the town and pays off my debt. Got it. Off you go then. Sell those fish while they're still fresh. Wait, what do I s What do I sell them? Oh, right here. The fishmonger. You enter a squally shack on the fringe of the market. The familiar smell of fish fills the air. Flies buzz haphazardly around the downcast man behind the counter. Hmm, you're the new fisherman, eh? Surprised they found the new one so fast. <laughs> what happened to the other one? Uh, he... Uh, it takes a certain time of person to last out here. It's not a lie for everyone. Anyway, to business. I'll pay you for a fish. Bigger and fresher means more money. Some species are just worth more too. Well, other towns on other islands might pay differently, but while you still got a debt outstanding here, I suggest you work on paying it first. So, let's see what you got. Well, I'm definitely gonna pay, uh, actually sell everything that I got, right? Oh, that one was golden because it was... Oh, look at that, that one got bad. What? 
I get it. So apparently, some of the fishes are gonna start to kind of go bad in your hold if you're exploring during the nighttime. That is so weird. The mayor is standing outside the fishmonger store. Excellent work. I have no doubt you'll be able to provide for this town. Look here, I found this down by the docks. I'm sure someone like you uh, could make something out of it. Why don't you just take it? What is this? It's a research part. Hmm. Not sure what this is though. I guess I'm gonna place it there. Oh, one last thing. Our local shipwright mentioned that she might be able to make some modifications to your ship. You should pay her a visit. Uh, so I'm guessing the shipwright is right here. As you walk into the yard, you see the shipwright making repair to the damaged hull. She looked up very briefly before turning back to her work. Ah. You must be the new fisherman, right? I can't make improvements to your vessel in the yard. Mind you, I'm not in the business of doing favors right here, so payment is upfront, and everything takes some time to install. Also, if you take on any damage from the rocks or any damage at all, I can patch it up. Mostly. She shrugs and gestures towards the holes she's currently attempting to repair. A number of wooden boards all well above the waterline, are splintered and scratched. Take a look around. Just remember, the bigger the equipment, the longer it takes to install, so plan ahead. Wait, what? So apparently she's got a different type of fishing rod here, which is quite expensive. This one is a simple skimmer. So my fishing rod is a custom rod, and this one is a simple skimmer. I could just buy this one. Place it there. I can also install it, but it takes two hours to install. I get it now. Hmm. There we go. So the time has passed from two hours to four. Aha. Uh -huh. This one, I don't have enough money to buy it, unfortunately. So I'm not going to be able to get that. Uh, let me install this one here. Research parts. I'm not sure what that is. Oh, I can actually go into shipwright engines. Oh, you can also buy more engines. I get it. And I can also spend some money to repair my hull, of course. And these are for placing more lights into the ship. Oh, that is so cool. Okay, I'm kind of liking this. Uh, take a look around. Just remember, the bigger the equipment, the longer it takes to install. All right. And lastly, we do have research here. And I do have a research part, which means I could use the research part here to kind of try to get something researched, I guess. Such as the engine. Oh, there we go. Improved outboard engine now available in stores. Huh. Interesting indeed. All right, well, you know what? Let's just rest a little bit. There we go. It is 6 a.m. And uh, you can also place stuff in the storage if you want to. Oh, and also we have the cabin here where we can check different type of stuff including what you're fishing what you're catching and uh, all that jazz oh what is that message that i found correct uh, we had a slight accident yesterday around the shallows at the back of the uh, great marrow a rock seemingly appeared out of nowhere and struck the front of the boat it did not penetrate the hole but it just all us around and a few items fell overboard into the water we did not see what they were which is of some concern but we believe all important articles are accounted for he has been checking over some notes from the bow renaming a ceremony. He is paranoid that he performed the steps incorrectly. I have never known him to be so superstitious. What? Yeah, this game is gonna get super, super weird. What can I do for you? Uh, I'd like to pay off some of my debts. Of course. How much would you like to repay? Uh... 25. Oh, I don't think I have any money, so I'm not going to be able to do it. <laughs> what happened to the fisherman? Hmm. Well, the last fisherman? Oh, uh, he was very unreliable. He'd go out at night, come back with no fish, and proceed to sleep all day. Um, he was also a terrible captain. I mean, really terrible. Constantly running aground on the reef. Even in the bright daylight, the shipwright almost ran off the wood uh, for repairs. Nah, he was no good. One evening, he just left and never came back. So long, he shan't be missed by us. Okay. Well, I guess uh, that is it for now. Uh, let me undock. And let's just keep on exploring here. Let's see what else we can find. No reason to have the light on. And this is us just using the spy glass. Oh, you can actually use the spy glass as a zoom. What? Ah, so you can kind of see what type of fish you can find in different spots. I get it. I get it. I get it. 
All right, let me try to catch me some of these fishes then. Oh, God. Okay, we got one of these things. Fish. There we go. We got another one. Not sure how expensive these are. And I think this uh, spot is now empty. So let's try another one. Go. Fishing is starting to be pretty interesting, to be honest. Uh, let me place one over there. Move these ones around a little bit. Okay, we got another one that I'm going to be able to place, like, right about here. So many mackerels in this spot. Okay, and another one that's going to go... I guess there. I don't like this, so I'm going to have to probably move some things around. Hold up, let me see. What if I place this guy there? Ah, much, much better like that, yeah, for sure. For sure. And let's try one. Ooh, I just got a golden one. Interesting. All right, place it there. Yeah, look at that. This one is definitely going to be more expensive uh, because it has more centimeters. And we got another one. And I think that is about it for this spot. Okay, let's keep going. I also want to grab me more of these notes, of course. Keep on reading the story and uh, get as much lore as I can possibly find right here. All right, we got it. Added that to the cabin. Uh, I don't think I can catch me these ones. Oh, yep. Definitely don't have what I need to be able to catch them. They have to get me uh, better stuff. So let's keep it going. Can I grab me the wood and stuff like that? No, we cannot. Definitely need to get me um, some better fishing rods. But in the meantime, let's just keep on exploring. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get lost in this game a lot. Oh, previously I could not fish here, so now we can. Look at that. Uh, so we got a gold flounder. I guess I'm going to place him over there. I don't know how to organize things. Definitely get that guy over there, and I will be able to place something in there, but... Just need to move some more fishes around, I guess. Never mind. No more flounders in here. Let's see what else we have. It's already 4 p.m. Are you kidding me, game? Time passes so fast. Oh, look at those fishies up here. What are these? Uh, I think this is showing me like that because I cannot fish them. I don't have the right thing to fish them. That's why it's showing like that. Uh, let me just make it there and see. Just to confirm. Yep, I knew it. I don't have what I need to catch him. Alright, buddy. That's fine. Let's keep it going. Let's keep on exploring and see what else we can find right here. Nighttime is coming, so I'm not sure if this is a good idea to keep on exploring at night. But uh, what can I do? Uh, you know what? Hold up. Let me... Uh, turn on the lights, I guess. There we go. Man, but when dark is coming, it's super duper dark. What is this? You pull up alongside a boat at anchor. There are signs of life on board, but nobody appears to greet you. Almost immediately, a small slot in the door snaps open. A pair of uh, frantic eyes peer out at you. Who goes there? Uh, I'm a fisherman. Oh, what do you want? I was just checking to see uh, if you're okay. Do I seem okay? No, I'm very much not okay. I'm supposed to be delivering this package to the marrow, but I'm being stalked. A, a huge leviathan lurks in these deep waters. I've seen it. It hung in the waters. It's gaping mouth just below the boat. It would have swallowed this vessel whole if I wouldn't bolt it to the shallows. I'm not going any further into this accursed island chain. Hmm. Uh, well, I think I could deliver the package for you if you want to. You would? Well, that would work perfectly, uh, I guess. Oh, man. So I guess what I'm going to have to do is probably discard what are these fellas. Let me move this one here and grab the package and place it here. 
The carry pushes a lumpy brown package through the doorstep. It squelches slightly as you take it to your hands. Dark fluid oozes from one corner. Thank you, stranger. This is bound for the dock works at the Little Marrow. I'm not sure what's inside, but listen, I know this sounds crazy. Sometimes I think I can hear the faintest of uh, whispers coming from it. Now, I'm not supposed to be transporting live goods. Uh, don't have the equipment for it. So just be careful with this thing, okay, mate? Okay, whatever it is. Here, why don't you just take this seal? What, what did I get? Uh, gain, gain go over in mind and body added to the cabin. Again, an item emerged from the door hole. This time, a book is pushed through the uh, thuds onto the deck below. You pick it up. I'll be on my way whenever the coast is clear. Safe travels. Hmm. Not sure what that was all about. And not sure what the book that I just got is all about. Oh no, wait a minute. Where are these, where are these coming from? I gotta pay attention not to hit the rocks. So dark the hole. What was that sound? Oh, another boat. Um. There we go. <laughs> oh, listen to them. They're everywhere. <laughs> oh, I love it. Hopefully, I don't hit any rocks though. Man, but exploring during the night time feels so creepy. What was that? No, I'm so creeped out right now. This game has a really super duper creepy vibe to it, to be honest. Especially when you're exploring during the night time. Oh no! Oh my god, this thing came out of nowhere. And I just lost one of the eels. I should think it. I definitely have to try to install some more light into my boat so I can see a little bit more. As at the moment, these cliffs kind of pop up out of nowhere. And because of that, I'm actually going to grab me another eel. No, stop that. There we go. We got it. We got it. Oh, but I cannot place it back now because... Um, are you kidding me? No... I can definitely place something here if I manage to grab another fish. But not an eel because eels are pretty big. Uh, let me try to grab me. Oh, we got so creepy. Not to mention, it's already 6 a.m. here. Oh, what are these crows showing up all of a sudden? A flowing buoy it serves to mark safe passage past dangerous rocks and obscure hazards. What? I just lost something because those... Crows are attacking. No, hold up, hold up, hold up. Blue macro lost as well. Are you kidding me, game? No, stop stealing my stuff. Gosh dang it. Oh man, this game is super dangerous at night. A hunched woman approaches you from the steps of the lighthouse. She stops some distance away and looks at you with concerns and visible uh, apprehension. Why are you here? Uh, I've got some fish. There's nothing here for someone like you anymore. Do yourself a favor and move on. She turns and shuffles back along the path that leads to the lights. Hmm. That was weird. Let me rest a little bit. You know what? I think I'm gonna rest until the next day. Because I was quite tired and I didn't like those crows attacking. There we go. Just the person I was hoping to see. Will you be sailing out east towards Little Marrow? Would you give this package to the dock works, please? Oh, we lost so much fish. What? Oh, all my fish has rotted away. Are you kidding me? I should have just went away and... Ugh. Gosh dang it, dude. <laughs> the mirror hands you a small damn package bound with a string. It's dripping slightly. The dock worker will pay you upon delivery. Please be quick about it. I don't want it spoiled. Uh, don't forget to check your compass and map if you get lost. All right, all right, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Um, I had a special order come through from the customer. If you can fulfill it, I'll pay you above the normal price. Tell me about the package. They asked for one gold flounder and one gray eel. Just bring them in when you have the time. 
uh, we'll need to have a rod that can handle sh shallow water fish in order to catch those. The shipwrights should be able to sort you out. Um, what do I do with the uh, rod, though? Lousy weather lately, though, almost makes you not want to get out of bed. But you and I, we've got to do it, right? We've got to do it, right? We're uh, what keeps the people going hungry. Alright, so this package needs to go somewhere, but I have no idea where. What do I do with these, though? I guess I can place them in storage, I guess, although I have no clue what I'm supposed to do with them. Alright, nothing that I can use here, unfortunately, to sell. Um, let me go here again. Your boat is looking a bit dang banged up. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. And unfortunately, I got no money to repair. So let me go ahead and try to get me some fish. Gosh dang it, dude. Kind of messed up a little bit. So how do you check your missions? Um, let's see. Ah, so this is one of the missions, right? I'm to catch a gulf flunder and a great eel. I need the rods that can handle. Okay. Next up, deliver the package. Deliver the package to the dock works at Little Morrow. Oh, so I didn't deliver the package. And deliver the package at dock work at Little Morrow. Wait, so how am I doing that? Morning of the second day of the honeymoon and our first day proper. Today we'll sing around the island and the inlets at the and the back of the Great Marrow. I love the rocks here. The layer and colors are so striking. Furthermore, the fishing gear is relatively poor in these shallows, so I know he will keep his hands off the wheel instead of the rods. Uh, he renamed the boat last night, Julie. He did a fancy renaming ceremony and everything. I think he took that more seriously than the wedding. Supposedly, it's very important to perform it correctly. Lest you want an ill fortune to follow the vessel. You want to throw away everything with the old name of it. But I keep the keychain. Uh, Ocean's Riches was a good name. I think he has prepared the surprise picnic lunch. I can see the basket half hidden and stuffed under a blanket at the front of the cabin. I love it when he tries to be romantic. <laughs> Alright, and also we have the encyclopedia here, of course, with some more information of stuff we discovered, and the map. So, we gotta go to Little Marrow here, to deliver something. So, let me make my way up front. While we're at it, let me also try to catch me some more fishies. We are gonna have to start selling these one, of course, to start getting me some money. Man, but I lost all those fishies that I worked so hard to get, including the golden ma well, mackerel. It is what it is, though. What can I do now? Okay, this one is gonna go here. And another one here, and that is going to be it. Okay, let's keep it going, buddy. Alright. These ones are gonna be the ones that I need for the mission. I know for sure that I need one of these. Um, yep, yeah, you're gonna go there. And if I catch me another one, I will be able to place it in the hole. This one's gonna go here, and I think that is going to be it. Okay, let's keep it going. So let me go ahead and get rid of the package, first of all, so I have more slots in my inventory. This is such an enjoyable game. I love it. Alexa, backlight 100%. Alright, so, let me dock over here. Hmm, what? A delivery? Let me see that. Huh. He tears a small hole in the paper and peeks inside. You can't say for sure, but it feels as though he is shielding it from your view. Yeah, nice and fresh. This will do nicely. I'm to pay you, right? I suppose. I had some money. I was given this old book a few weeks back, but it didn't make much sense to me. You'll surely get more use of it. He pulls a crumpy book from his back pocket and hands it to you. A number of the pages are folded over. Keep in your cabin. Perhaps you can read it while you're on the waters? Stop by for a chat anytime. I know how lonely it can be. Huh. So I got myself another one, but I'm not sure why. 
And apparently, I can access my storage. But I'm not sure exactly what I'm supposed to do with all this rot. So what I'm going to do here... Uh, actually, let me access my storage. Let me place one of these mackerels. And some of these fishes, because I gotta get me some eels as well while we're at it. So, let me get rid of these fellas. And... Let us see what we can do next. Now, where can I find some eels, I wonder? Let me see. Oh, you know what? Let me also try to catch me these ones. I don't think I have these ones. Oh, yeah. I definitely don't have these ones. Ugh, messed up. No. There we go. Got one. Oh, this looks awesome. And this one is a really huge fish. Uh, disturbed water. A stingray. Hmm. Hopefully they sell pretty well, to be honest. Um, do I have slots for another one? Oh, this one is definitely going to go here. Yeah, and I think I can catch me another... Oh, dang it. It's not going to be easy. There we go. We got another one. Wow, these things are... These stingrays are actually pretty huge. Uh, that's a blue mackerel. That's a cod over here. Don't really have any more inventory space for anything else. So you know what? Let me get myself. Oh, I lost the macro, unfortunately. That's fine. Let's just keep her going. Unfortunately, I don't have the eel that I wanted. And I don't think I have any inventory space to get one. Let me just get... Ooh. Yes, please. Let me grab one of these. Uh, go in here. I guess that's the final one because I don't have any more slots. Alright. Let me make my way back. I'm not ready to explore during the nighttime though. I'm super duper afraid to explore during the nighttime. I don't know why. I feel like I'm going to lose everything if I do it. And let us see here. So first of all. Uh, let me get to the mayor. What can I do for you? I want to ask you about the white region. Um, yeah, let's ask about that. Certainly, is there some somewhere in the particular that you wish to know more about? Gilcliffs. Well, the main port over there is a place called uh, Inkfell. It's right on the approach of the cliffs. You can't miss it. It's a uh, welling town, but I haven't heard much of it uh, these days. I think quite a few people have left, one way or another. Is there another thing you'd like to discuss? Uh, yeah, what about Stellar Basin? Hmm, quite a popular tourist destination. The resort on the atoll, built on top of a beautiful coral reef. I'm sure there's a wide variety of fish there. Maybe you fancy getting your hooks onto some uh, some of those? Is there anything else? Uh, what about the Twisted hmm. Strands? Hmm, I don't think there's much to tell. It's just a tangled mess over there. Of trees, actually. It's awful blanket in a thick fog. Even though during the day, you'd want some good light and a good sense of direction if you're planning to explore there. And lastly, what about the Devil's Spine? Ah, yes. It's quite exciting, really. An active volcano amongst a city of ancient ruins. I must cautious against selling there, however. The ruins lie low in the water and will surely tear through your hole. Not to mention the aforementioned volcano could erupt at any time. You can occasionally hear a rumbling from here. Interesting. Alright, buddy. In that case, um, I think that's about it. Let me first of all go to the fishmonger. Yes, I have some fish for you. Just leave whatever you have here. Uh, so, of course, I'm going to want to sell... Wait, can I... Oh, I can... Oh, hold up. This is for the mission. Never mind. So, these ones you can actually sell. Uh, but f Wait. Stop that, buddy. Let me place the thing back in here. Let me actually leave this one behind. And next time, I'm going to have to bring in the uh, Great Eel. Uh-huh. So, done for that. Alright, come back when you have everything. Uh, next up, let me sell... Can I sell everything? Oh, yeah, you can sell everything if I just hold. There we go. Not to mention, I can go in my storage. Oh, I love it that the storage is actually going from one island to the island, island, uh, from one island to the other. That is super good. So, let me place all of these in my inventory. Let me also see if I can sell the rod as well. Go to the fishmonger again. Uh, not right now. And... 
No, you cannot sell these ones, unfortunately. Hmm. Yeah, so you can definitely not sell the rod. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do with the rod. So this one is addressed to the dock work at Little Morrow. It's then sap and very sticky. So I still have to get this one to Little Morrow again. Definitely gonna have to go there for sure. But for now, let me go to the shipwreck and fix up my boat again. There we go. Um, do I have any money so I can buy some more upgrades, I wonder? Because I would definitely love to have a light here. So, this one is a, for Cloudy and Dance, and this one's for Cracked Bulb. Wait, why is it a Cracked Bulb? Yeah, the 181 is definitely better. Better than a candle. And this one makes a decent effort at shining through the gloom. Not bad, but it's super duper expensive. And these are just improved outboard engines. Oh, it's so expensive as well. Uh, Witty line. I would love to buy this thing, to be honest. But if I install it, what do I do with the other one? That's my question. Uh, discard... Storage, I guess. Yeah, let me store it. Okay, so we do have a fishing rod. I have a brand new one. I'm curious if this one is better than the one that I just, uh, I guess removed. Anyway, it's 12 p.m., which means I'm gonna have to go to sleep here and rest up. Now, in the meantime, hold up. What do I have in the cabin? Oh, these are the books. Selective as active book. Past time to read. Ah, so you can actually let your character read the books if you want to. I haven't read this yet. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Let me just go ahead and get myself a little bit of sleep here. There we go. And let's just undock. Because I gotta catch me one eel. This is definitely not an eel, this is a mac eel. Ooh, what is that one in the back there? At the same time, where can I find an eel? I don't think I have what I need to get that uh, silver out of the water. That's another mackerel. Let me go for this one because I'm not sure if I have the proper fishing rod to catch it, but I will try. Let us see. Nope, definitely don't have what I need. Okay, in my mind, let me keep on going. Got another flounder there, a cod. At the same time, I gotta get rid of the package that I have because it's taking all the space from my inventory. It's super annoying. So if I'm not mistaken, this package that I have has to be delivered here. The little marrow. Yes. But my question is where? How's the date three again? I've got a package for you. Oh, a delivery, eh? It's a big one. Let me see. He takes the large package and examines it gently with his hands. He lifts it to one of his ears and listens for a while. He seems satisfied. Much appreciated, friends. Now, if you'll excuse me, wish me luck. <laughs> he turns and hurries off to the dock without another word to you or a compensation. Seriously, buddy? What the heck? I was expecting something from him, but anyway. At least I got rid of that package. So, uh, let me see what I can find me some eels. Because that is for the mission. Ooh, what is what is this? What is happening here? What? Oh, what the heck is this thing? All scene cards. What the? I don't know what that is, but that looks so creepy. And of course, we got a normal one. But this one is super strange. Staring outwards, unblinking, eyes borrowed from a large beam, but not the mind of the process, what it sees. What? Well, at least it's fresh. <laughs> so I'm not gonna say no to that. Alright, and I think that is gonna be it for this. We got that special little card, whatever that is. Let me keep on looking for eels. That's a mackerel. That's oceanic, but I don't think I have what I need to catch that. That's another cod. Flounder. Another mackerel over there. 
seriously, I just need some eels. Come on. I love it that we have the ability to kind of look around in order to uh, see what type of fishies you can catch. That is so cool. Okay, we got another flounder that I can actually place over here. And this one is depleted. Let's keep it going. Oh, man. Can't seem to find any eels. And I know I need one for a mission. Alright, fish that. Uh, this bad boy is gonna go over here, I guess. This one is... I could get me a card to place it here and here, to be honest. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to do that. Wait, why is this shiny here? What is this stuff? All that's left of this boat is on the old husk. You pull a little closer, looking signs. Oh, we get some woods. Oh, and a ring, apparently. Hmm. And some woods that I'm probably gonna need to fix up my boat. So let me grab all this stuff. We got an iron chain, research parts. Sure thing, why not? And what about, oh, an eel. I really want this eel. But before I'm gonna get the eel, let me actually get rid of this guy. And now I can go ahead and catch me the eel. There we go. No, I messed up. That would have been a golden one. Dang it. All right, that's fine, that's fine. Let me try to make my way back. Try to sell off all the stuff and also uh, finish up the mission, right? Because we finally got ourselves the eel that we needed. Uh, can I fish here? Oh, what is this? I'm not sure what this is. I've never caught this one before. A black gooper. Oh, it's a huge one. Yeah, unfortunately, I got nowhere to place it, so uh, we're gonna have to come back here later on. Let me try to avoid... Oh! We got something shiny here. The lighthouse towers above, waves crash endlessly against the perilous rocks below. Yeah, I can see that. All creatures, humans or otherwise, would have their brittle bodies broken and thrown at its feet. You ponder the uh, intricate power of the structure, a vast column of stones shouldering the responsibility of countless lives. How long will it stand? How long will the case into its ruin? Its purpose. Exhausted? The lighthouse towers above. <laughs> Man, this game has some really awesome lore. If you guys enjoy lore, this game is definitely for you. It's super duper uh, interesting. Alright, let's try to go here. Dock a little bit. And get rid of the uh, monsters around us. So, first of all. I do have the mission fish, so this bad boy is going to go here. Here we go, we got $48 out of that. Not bad, not bad at all. The fishmonger wraps up the fish and hands you some money. Good, good. They should be uh, pleased with these. I've got another order for you. This one's a little more curious. They want a couple of squid and a whole black gooper. Oh, the black gooper that I just actually threw away. Don't see many people fishing those squid these days. They only feed at night. And well, you know what night are luck I like right here, so good luck. Uh, what is it today? Well, we had the uh, grotesque fish to the fishmonger. He grinds raising the, uh, the fish up to the, his face before inhaling a deep, shutting breath. Ah, now, this is the sort of specimen to liven up my days. I wonder. He runs his finger firmly alongside the length of the fish, or as though feeling for something. He pushes from one side to its stomach, and sm and small shape can be seen against the uh, bulging scales. He slices the fish open. From its stomach, he pulls a small piece of fabric and spreads it to the counter. It's a delicately patterned um, handkerchief. Wait, what? What, he just pulled out a handkerchief out of that weird fish? Well, I've never seen that before in my days. I'll give you this thing, and I'll pay you for the fish too, of course. Hmm. It's not the first uh, corrupted fish I've seen in these parts, so I'm sure you'll find some more before too long. I pay you well if you find more. Ah, so that weird fish that we just got, apparently got me a very weird handkerchief out of it. I'm guessing this is one is gonna be for a quest or something like that. So weird. So weird indeed. Definitely gonna place it in the storage. 
Um, at the same time, not sure what I'm going to be able to do with the lumber. But I do want to sell this guy all the fish that I have on. There we go. We got rid of that. Oh, we also adjusted the depth a little bit. Interesting. Interesting indeed. A man is looking at you through your cabin's window. His face is mostly in shadow. I know what you did to the fishmonger. And I'll be clear. I know he extracted an artifact from it. I need to inspect it, but not here. Meet me on the Blackstone Isle. Head out of this bay and cut south. I have a business proposition that you want to hear. I'll be waiting. What? So apparently... Um... Wait, where is it? Where did this guy want it to meet me, I wonder? Hold up. Uh, let me go into tap here again. Uh, actually, let me go here. So, meet at Blackstone Isle. A man approached me interested in the fishmonger pull from the fish. He wants me to meet at the Blackstone Isle. Um, so how do I get there? Because I didn't really... <laughs> I was really not paying attention. Hmm. Blackstone Isle. If I go into map... I got no clue where the Blackstone Isle is. Oh, maybe... Actually, no. This is not it. Oh, yeah. Maybe this is Blackstone Isle where the X is. Yeah, I'm going to be guessing this is it. This is it, probably. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Uh, so probably he's going to need the handkerchief from me. Yeah, I'm pretty sure about it. Uh, so I'm going to grab it. But in the meantime, I'm going to get rid of the old iron chain. And I'm definitely going to have to sell that as well to the little matter as well. The mirror is walking quickly towards you. He seems to be in a good mood with a spring in his cell. Fantastic news. Thanks partially to your efforts, Greater Marrow is growing. Our town is sure to be swarmed with visitors one day or another. In fact, I've granted a consent for the shipwright to expand her facilities. The old dry dock is operational again. I've also allocated some money to improve the fishmonger service. He might have something to tell you about soon. Keep up the good work. We're glad you've chosen to be uh, helping us. Are you kidding me? Oh, look at that. We now have a dry dock here. This is a dry dock. Uh, we can make significant improvements to your vessel here. Uh, we're taking extra space, more attachment points to your equipment, and even superior holes. We'll need a decent stock of uh, hard materials for these projects. Lumber, metal scraps, and sort of things. Hmm. How do I get materials? Uh, well, there's plenty of decent materials around the coast from various shipwrecks and, and the like. And I'm sure you'll find a way to get them. Materials assigned towards upgrades here will be stored. So don't worry if you only have half of the uh, stuff that you need. Ah, so of course we can make upgrades with the uh, wood and uh, stuff that I just placed in my storage. So let me grab these back, I guess. And see if I can use them right over here. Remember, you don't have to have all the materials at you once. You can store them whenever you have enough or however you want. So, for example, if I want to get myself um, more space, I guess, for fishing, I can go in here and simply place the wood in there. And all I need to get is a bolt of cloth. Uh-huh, so I need two of these. Okay, I'm just going to let that one in there, I guess, for now. Let me also jump in here and place another wood. And we just need metal scraps. Is this metal scrap? No, it's not. So I'm not sure what that is. Yeah, definitely don't have that. And definitely don't have that. We're the gonna, we are going to need a lot of wood, apparently. <laughs> a lot of wood. So, let me go back into storage and get rid of that. Uh, oh, we can go and research here. Because I do have a research part that I could actually spend into... I guess here. There we go. So, once you spend the research part, it's actually showing up here. Interesting. I'm loving that so much. All right, let's just, um, do I have anything on me? No. In that case, let me just rest up. There we go. And I think we're ready to undock. Man, this game is super duper enjoyable. It's going to have so many upgrades you're going to be able to do. It's not even funny. All right, let me get this card place over here. And I guess I want another one. At least right in here. Make my way to Little Matter here for now. Because I do have one thing that I can sell to this fellow over here. 
So I can go to the trader and can definitely sell the ring. Yes, you can. Here we go. Awesome. Uh, this one is not going to be sold to this fellow. I'm pretty sure I can sell this handkerchief to the other dude, to the weird dude that came to my window. But in the meantime, let me go into my inventory and place these ones into... There we go. Into my storage. Perfect. That's what I want to see. All right, let's keep it going. Because I want to fish some more for sure. Another thing that is really important and I should try to get is the ability to maybe boost my boat a little bit. Because I'm super slow at the moment. Or maybe get some better engines. So that's another card over there. Uh, those are mackerels and a ring. But I don't know if I have what I need in order to get that ring. First of all, let me get me some cards. Also, fishing in the game is super, super enjoyable. And it's easy as well. All you gotta do is tap whenever those slots um, are showing up. It's actually really easy to do. Alright, let me catch more cards. Uh, this one's gonna go here. And that's it. Alright, let's keep it going. It is already 6 p.m. though. But the thing is, I need some fishes that you can only catch during the night time. Ooh, that's a black grouper. I need it, I need it. Let me go grab that one before doing anything else. And then I'm gonna go and see what this guy wants from me. Alright, so we got one of the black groupers. Uh, that's probably gonna go here. And that's gonna be it because we don't have any more. Man, but nighttime is super dark. If you don't have the lights, the proper lights, you're done for. Um, hold up. Let me get the lights. Turn it on. At least this small bulb. Oh my god, what was that? Jeez. Nighttime is super scary in this game. Alright, so we got a ruined mansion, a workshop, and my storage. Let's see what the ruined mansion is all about. So this is definitely the weird guy that came to my ship. The man is standing in the doorway, watching you approach. He's holding an old book in one hand. It's bound in crimson with silver ribbons. <sighs> you came. Good. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm a collector of many things. Art and artifacts, treasures and truths, and curious that occupy the periphery of desire. And you have something for me. You do. Alright, you give him the handkerchief to the collector. He holds it up to the flickering light and studies it. Hmm. hmm. These patterns are unmistakable. Even after all this time, this handkerchief comes from an old ship I've been searching for. It sank many, many years ago. It carried items of great importance, as you can imagine. Retrieving them is providing to be challenging. That's where you come in. My proposition is this. I will outfit your vessel with equipment that will let you dredge wrecks and dark debts. Find me these lost relics and I will reward you in ways beyond all imagination. You need not give up your fishing career, of course. I'll merely need a few hours of your vessel to make the necessary alterations. What do you say? Hmm. Well, guess what, guys? We most definitely accept. An excellent decision. I'll prepare the equipment immediately. The relics we're looking for are a ring, a necklace, a watch, and a music box, and a key. I would encourage you to ask around the town about shipwrecks or other strange occurrences. Anything that might be worth investigating. Return to me when you have something. Man, this quest line is super awesome. Now what about this workshop? The workshop looks as though it hasn't been used in decades. You enter, taking a moment to let your eyes adjust to the dim light. What do you want to do in here? Uh, pick up items, I guess. You find some horrific creatures amongst the, the uh, Petrius. Wait, what are these? A sign of ruin? What? A symbol of the depth is carved into a small talisman. It's sure to draw the attention of those attuned to it. What? I don't know what that is, but uh... Definitely gonna place it... There, I guess. I'm guessing when you're fishing, you can actually use it? Hmm. And also we have an, um, a fuel engine. Hold up, before I grab this one actually, let me move the card away. And now we can place this engine over here. Not sure what that is, but uh, what do you want to do in here? Nothing. All we gotta do is just leave. Alright, undock. And let's keep it going.
Now, what is my character doing? If I just leave my character over there. Oh, he is reading. Look at that. So it is currently 46% complete of the reading. Hmm. Search for relics. So these are my missions for relics. And now I need arrow squid and a black grouper, which I already have one. I just need to find some arrow squids, I guess. Uh, hold up. Let me go for this. Oh, God. What is that sound? Hold up. There's something here. That looks super strange. What is this? Oh, I don't know what this is. I don't know if it's a good idea to sit in it. Now I'm getting kind of followed by it. No, I don't like that. I don't know what that is. Oh no, it's not affecting my boat as well. Are you kidding me, game? Um, 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 um. Hold up, hold up. Let me try to catch me some of these. Wait, can I catch? Okay, so we got some of these squids. Let me get another one. I think I need two. Oh, what the? I just got a really weird one, unfortunately. And also we have this ring that I really, really hope that I can actually get because I'm pretty sure this is what I needed for that dude. Oh, it is. We can actually collect it. Press F to change lanes. Oh, I know how this works. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. That is so cool. Fishing in this game is super awesome. It's kind of like a puzzle game. Look at that. We just got ourselves the ring that I was looking for. Awesome. Awesome indeed. All right. We got a card over there. Oh no, not these birds again. They're gonna attack and grab my stuff. No, 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 no. Move fast, move fast, move fast. I gotta get out of here. Gosh dang it. We lost a call to the birds. We lost another call to the birds. And dock, 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 dock fast. And another one. Gosh dang it, dudes. So, first of all, let's see. What do I have to sell? Have we got the fish that I requested? Yes, I do. So he wanted um, this, he wanted this, and I also have this one for him, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to need a uh, different one. So let's go with that. And next, let's sell off the rest of the fish. Alright, perfect. Um, I see that the lighthouse keeper wants something from me, but first, let me go to the mayor. Uh, I want to ask about the weather region. I want to know about the shipwrecks around here, and what do you know about any strange occurrences? Uh, actually, I wanted to pay out my debt, but I think I guess I can ask about the shipwrecks. Shipwrecks? Hmm. Unfortunately, there have been quite a few in the recent years. The lighthouse helps, but even it struggles to cut through the fog some nights. We do our best to salvage and clear any shipwrecks that occur around the side of the island. That should make fishing a bit easier for you. Around the back though, it's a little harder to get to. There are still some wrecks towards the deeper patches. Uh, you'll want to avoid that area. Now, what else can I do for you? Uh, what about the strange occurrences? Well, I heard that many uh, counterparts in Little Maru met the most unfortunate ends. They said that he went mad suddenly. One day, he was normal. The next, he was packing the shoreline's hurling's people's belongings to, uh, into the sea. After some days like this, he disappeared, never to be seen again. Nowadays, the tale of the old mayor is used to scare children. Not many remember him, myself included, and those that do remember, those seem to like uh, talking about it, a most unpleasant subject. Now, what else can I do for you? I guess that's about it, buddy, because it doesn't like you can... Oh, actually, we can't ask about the Blackstone Isle. Hmm. I don't know a great deal. It technically falls under the jurisdiction of the Little Marrow. I believe it was sold to a private owner some 20 years ago. They must have had a special arrangement. Such a sell is quite uncommon. Very complicated paperwork involved, you see. Uh, I've not met the owner. I suspect they don't live around here. The island seems quite inhabited. Uh, is there anything else? Nope, I guess that's about it, buddy. Now, uh, how do I pay my debts? Uh, let me just grab all these fishies because I'm going to have to sell them off eventually. Let me go to the fishmonger. I found this book out back. 
uh, could be used for you. Oh, we got ourselves another book. The fishmonger reaches under the counter and hands you a damp feather book. First of all, though, let me get rid of the fish to get more money. Um, let me go to the shipwreck. So this one is our tier engine. The bony blades of this grotesque engine are driven by a pulsary heart. It beats in time with your own. Hmm. Super weird. The thing is, I really want to buy me this engine. Um. So, we got an improved outboard engine and a peculiar engine. Someone soon this engine. An unfamiliar way. Whatever they uh, did has given it more power than normal. Okay. And we also have the gold... The worn golden ring. Always holds its value. Now, I wonder, is this one for the mission or is it for... Something else? Let me go to cabin. Pursuit. No, so that is not the relic ring that I needed. That is, I guess, just for selling and getting some coins for it. Alright, in that case... um. This book is almost done, so I definitely want to have this one finished. Uh, let's see what the builder is saying. You approach a woman sitting on the dock sides, staring out to the sea. She turns to you. What's it like out there? Um, It's difficult. It's got to be a dense sight better than this bloody town. I just think I just need to get away for a while. Maybe not come back. Going backwards is a mistake, don't you think? You should always keep moving towards, moving along. Hmm, it's not so bad here. I don't want to move along. Uh, it's not so bad here. She's gazing out to the sea again, lost in thoughts. Say, if you find me some materials, maybe you can help me move? I mean, really move. There's an island I've heard about, Steel Point, just to the north. Uh, two units of lumber and two units of scrap is all I need. I just, I can make a new place for myself out there. Um, you'll be welcome to visit too. Just stack it up at Steel Point when you have anything. I'll pay you when the job is done. Huh. Okay, I guess I activated another quest. What is it? Ah, so she's the lighthouse keeper. Uh, let's see. Uh, what do you know about the old mayor in the little marrow? That's his... Uh, I try not to think about him. It's a painful memory, that's all. Some nights I still think that I can hear the hum of his engines sailing past the bay. But I know that he's gone, and I don't want to talk about it anymore. Okay, so who leaves at Blackstone Isle? Mm. I see a lot from up here, you know. I saw that ill-fated boat return. I chose to look the other way. I watch an unnatural glow flicker through those windows. Whatever you got plans, I hope that you know what you're doing. Okay... And have, and have you heard any strange things happening? Well, I see plenty of strange things at the top of the lighthouse. Sometimes I don't know where I can or cannot trust my own eyes. She holds the lantern up so that it shines brightly onto her mm. face. Are you really standing here in front of me? Or is it just another one of those fog tricks? <laughs> Alright, well, and lastly, uh, do you know of any shipwrecks around here? She eyes you suspiciously. Mm. Well, there's a spot near the uh, back of the Great Marrow, where the current carries in the wrecks of the sea. Some nights, you can see an unnatural glow rising from that patch of dark. I can imagine what's down there in the depths. So, if you're looking for what I think you're looking for, well, it's best that you just move on. <laughs> Dang it. Well, I guess you kind of told me of a brand new location around here, uh, which is probably back here at the Greater Marrow. Hmm... Okay. In that case, uh, let me undock. And let me keep her going. Oh, look at the speed of the boat. Now that we have two engines, we're definitely going faster. Uh, we do have some dredge up there as well. But at the same time, I also want to try to set off this ring that I just got on me. Over here, why not? Trader and sell. Okay. Ooh, who is this guy? A grieving father. Hi, uh, is everything okay? Um, do you know of any shipwrecks around here? Well, yeah, you see, my only son was lost at sea some years ago. He is still out there somewhere in one of those wrecks, all alone in the cold dark water. 
The man is still clearly trying his hardest to remain composed, but tremors of grief rack his body. I was wondering, I noticed that you have some dredging equipment installed in your vessel. If you're able to retrieve any of the belongings from the wreck, I think he'd feel more at peace if his mementos were with me. Uh, he wore a bronze belt buckle, specifically engraved. I'd recognize it anywhere. If there's a chance you could find it, I'd be in your debts. Hmm. So apparently we got ourselves another quest here. We're supposed to find this guy's son's maybe remains. What do you know about any strange occurrences? Well, I don't get out a lot anymore, so I don't see much of what goes on. But I do remember the old mayor in his uh, final days. What an awful sight it was. Screaming and throwing things onto the seas. Throw it back, he would cry over and over. Begging anyone who would listen, holding it to the winds. These days, I almost feel like I understand. Anything else can I help you with? Nope, I think that's about it, buddy. Alright, let's keep going. I guess we got what we came here for. Uh, let me just go on and turn on the light. Grab me a little bit of uh, wreckage here as well. Alright, we got another piece of wood. This one is going to go, I guess, here. Oh, hold up, there's more. Definitely one more wood. Okay, and we got another one. That's gonna go in here. That is about it. Oh no! Dang it, we just lost that lumber. Oh man, no! Stop damaging the hole, dude. Jeez, this is super annoying. So, what I wanted to go is here. But it's not easy to do that. Now, where am I going? I think I gotta go this way. Not to mention, I gotta pay attention because I'm pretty sure that these cliffs will just show out of nowhere. And they will most definitely damage my hole. I'm definitely going the right way. Man, I need some better lights. Let me go like that. And make a little bit of sound for this guy. <laughs> he did the same thing. Are you kidding me? Alright, so I'm definitely going the right way. I think this is what I gotta go to. Um... Hold up, is this a fishing spot over here? It is, it is, it is. Whoa, look at this fish that we just got. Hold up, hold up, no, 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 no. Dude, oh my god. Your ship is dashed to pieces. You sleep beneath the surface and you join the uncountable souls lost in the depths. Wait, did I... Did I just die there? Are you kidding me, game? What just happened? Wow, no way that just happened. Well, that one, that was unexpected. <laughs> Apparently, I got killed. What? Oh, my God. Um... Never mind. Let's just undock <laughs> and carry on. I did not expect that to happen. There is something behind Little Marrow that I really want to get to. But at the same time, nighttime is coming, and I do see a spot over here that I really want to try to catch. Also, what is that? Ooh, we got one of these weird fishies. There we go. We're getting a lot of squid here. And I think I actually needed one more. For a mission. Okay, that's it. Let me keep on moving. Unfortunately, actually, we can also grab this one real fast if I can make it. Uh, I don't think I have what I need to catch these ones, unfortunately. Alright, it is what it is. No, 
no, no, no, no, no. I think it's coming for me. That is most definitely a baddie. No! No, 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 no. Yeah, that guy is definitely that fish that's trying to eat me. Jesus, he's super fast. <laughs> wow. Man, exploring during the nighttime is super creepy. Are you kidding me? It's so risky. Oh my, you look exhausted. You're not forgetting to get some sleep, are you? Oh, so I'm guessing because I'm not getting some sleep, that's why this is happening. As I always say, taking freaking breaks is an important part of being productive. Yeah, you know what? First of all, let me go here. Let's say this guy, yes. Let me sell one of these fishies. There we go. We got all the money from him. I didn't think that you had it in you. Night fishing is, is a tall order. Been meaning to talk to you about a new business venture I've been considering. Crab pots. I've got one here for you. In fact, it's a bit banged up, but you could get it fixed at the shipwreck. Oh, so maybe I can actually place this one in able to get some crabs. Deploy a crab pot. Don't forget where you put it. Uh-huh. Should be pretty uh, straightforward. Just drop it out of the sea anywhere and then come back after a day or two to check on it. I have a customer after a fiddle crab and a common crab. Both species can be found right here. Hmm. Make sure you're getting enough rest though. Tired eyes won't fare well in these waters. Um... So I can definitely buy one more of these, I guess. And I can definitely go ahead and sell all the fishes to him. Also, let me get some rest. My character is going insane. I do not want to deal with that anymore. Now, what about the book? 77 complete. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Uh, at the same time, let me grab this bad boy. And set it off. Ooh, have you seen the strange red light at night? It seems to be rising from the west. Yeah, I definitely have seen that one, buddy. Can you actually tell me more about it? Because I got no clue what that is. Also, do you want this fish for me or not? Oh my god, this one is worth 100. There we go. So much money. Alright, uh, if I go to my storage. Let me grab the wood. Uh, what missions do I have? So, as I was saying, I apparently got to get myself to find the build buckle near Little Marrow to here. I need to deliver the following materials to steel points. Two lumber and two scraps. Now, I only need to deliver two there. I already have three on me. So, let me go to draw, actually. Yeah, let me go here. You may really have to have all the materials. I know, I know. Um, but I can definitely leave one wood with you here. Uh, I can definitely go into my storage. Oh, I cannot place that fishing rod there. Never mind. Never mind. And I definitely want to get the lumber delivered as well. But I think I'm going to deliver it to that place once I have the um, other resources. The scraps, yeah, so I don't make two rows, right? So let me go into the storage and get rid of these ones. There we go. And we'll add it. Select the crop pots with E and deploy one. Ah, so I can actually deploy one here. Ah, there we go. Okay. It's saying that there's plenty right here. So you know what? Let me deploy another one. There we go. Next up, let me go with this. And let's keep on exploring. You know what? Let me try to go behind Little Marrow here. Let me see what I can find. That's the blue mackerel. We got some cards. Blue mackerel again. I mean, I think I need some blue mackerels to be honest because... I need to fill up my inventory eventually, so let me just get one. Alright. Place it there. A cod and another mackerel should be great. Also, I need to fix up my hole again. Now, if I check the map... This is where I gotta check for... The resources, right? For the wreck. Oh, it's right here. Ah, and the wreck is there, yeah. 
So apparently I can do a little bit of dredging. Is this like a treasure? Hold up. Oh, no way. That's the bowl of claw that I need. And I think I can actually get another one. Yeah, perfect. Because I do need this stuff in order to get some upgrades. Or more like uh, buildings. Finish back at the town. There's another one. That's going to be it. Okay. Let me also check over here real fast. Oh, that's a... Uh, hold up. That's probably a ring. No, nope, Dig it. Get a pay attention. Ah, another one of these chains. Old iron chain. That's fine. And here... Oh, dude. Stop hitting stuff. Let's see what this is. Oh my god. This is not easy. These are gonna get super difficult. Huh. A bronze build buckle. So what I'm gonna do... I'm actually gonna get rid of... Um, that fish. And get the bronze build buckle for that dude. There we go. Oh, hold up. Let me grab more of this. Definitely want some dredge as well. Oh, no. This is more important than fish. All right. The problem is this one is quite big. So what I'm going to have to do is... Let us see. I think I'm going to have to get rid of you and you. Place this bad boy here and search for more. All right, to grab another one, though, <laughs> I have to... Let us see. I can't really do much, unfortunately. Yeah, I can't really do much. I'd love to get that caught, but um, I don't think I can. All right. Actually, hold up. There's another one. Seriously... That means I'm going to have to get rid of the uh, fishies, to be honest. Because I need these things more for upgrades. Yeah, I definitely need these things more. So, let me... No! I lost it. I pressed the wrong button. Gosh darn it. Never mind. That's fine. We're learning. And I think I just got myself some crabs as well. Hold up. I did get a crab. Look at this guy. Pick up. We got a common crab. Pretty sure we can get another one here as well. Oh, I think you could actually leave this one for longer. And it may get filled up more. Oh, no, 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 no. Let me get rid of the, uh... Crows fast. Fisherman, what is it? You look a touch troubled. Is the fog starting to get at you? <laughs> Completely normal rank here. And, nor and nothing to worry about. With a good night's rest, you'll be right as rain by the morning. Yeah, I know, buddy. I know. Uh, I got one of the crabs for you, buddy. But that one is a huge one, though. A few little crab. I'm not sure what I'm going to be able to get that one. Uh, let me also get rid of the fishies. At least one, because the rest of it... Unfortunately, I don't have what I need. Next up, I got to go for the dry docks. And I got to place... This thing here, and one of the engines. There we go. So we can't get an upgrade. Awesome. Plus two rod spaces. That's just slots. Okay. Next up. Ah, uh, I need to find more of these to get another slot for uh, fishing. That's fine. Uh, for the engine, though, I need to place you. Oh, wait. Why are these showing green like this? And green, but almost every detail is uh, entirely worn away. I don't think I can use these ones right here, right? Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, never mind. These are slots for the engines. Uh, which means... If I now go into my storage, I can place this in here. Or no. Hmm. I thought I could. But I can't. Apparently, I cannot. Oh, so maybe I'm going to unlock these once I'm going to finish the subway. Yeah, that's what that's saying. Okay, never mind. Uh, in that case, let me go into here. Fix up my home. There we go. 
Let me also go ahead and uh, get... Uh, I don't have enough money, never mind. We got a fishmonger. If you're ever hunting for species, check your encyclopedia. I know, buddy, I know, I know. Well, in that case, you know what? Let me try to make my way back to the other islands. This one is still fishing me. Let me try to get this one down here. And I guess I can try to catch me some fishies while I'm doing a little bit of exploring here. And let me give this guy the build he, that he wanted. About the build buckle. Give the build buckle to the man? Yes. You gave the build buckle to the man. This is... This is his. Oh, thank you. Bless you. You return him to me. Please, take this. I've got no money to pay to you, but this might hold some value. Ah, a research bar. Yes, please, buddy. Anything else I can do for you? No. That was not bad. Uh, let me sell off to the trader this. And I think that is about it. Because now, we can definitely keep on fishing a little bit more here. As I'm going to try to make my way back. But let me grab some more of this. Some bigger flounders. And another one, seriously. How many? Alright, and that is going to be it. If I place this one here, if I have another slot for something else. That's a mackerel. Ooh, hold up, we got a dredge. That I can go for straight up ahead. And you guys know that I want the dredges. Ah, that fish just disappeared. Ooh, that's a black gooper. I would love to get that as well. But I don't know if I have any more slots. So let me first of all give me some dredge. Okay, I got some earrings. Pearl earrings. Interesting. Oh god, there was a ship close by. I don't want it to come to me. Okay, what is this? Uh, ooh. I don't know if I have slots for this thing. But I did see sh something shining here that I want to catch. A one strong wooden hull lays broken against the uh, shorelines. The stern is completely beached. You pull a bit closer and manage to check, uh, clamber into the back of the wreck. You look around. And I found some resources that I really want. Research stuff. Earrings. And... Definitely gonna discard... One of these. Oh god. Oh no! No, 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 no. Hopefully he ain't gonna catch me. No! Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. I don't know what's happening, but I gotta get some rest. I should not explore without resting anymore. Please don't hit anything. Please don't hit anything. Oh my god, that was super close. Oh my god! Yep, 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 yep. Uh, I lost the uh, flounder. Jeez, that guy was so close to me. Are you kidding me, game? Man, this game gets so dangerous during the night time. <laughs> oh, finally, we managed to get back. Alright, buddy. Um, I'm going to have to sell all of these to you. Next up, definitely going to have to go get some rest. Jeez, exploring during the night time without resting is super, super dangerous. Uh, let me go back in here. And get another upgrade. Awesome. We got four net spaces, additional slots added. Um, do I have anything else though? These are earrings that I gotta sell. Yep, we got this one. And I think if I'm not mistaken, my storage also holds uh, more wood. But at the same time, I need to sell off some more stuff. Let me go here. Sell here. Grab these two. 
go back here. And I did not want to do that. Hold up. Let me go back here. Grab these two. Go back in the fishmonger and sell it all off. There we go. We are up to $150. Not bad. Uh, and we also have two research points that I can use in order to unlock more stuff, I guess. So if I go for this lady, also we need to fix up. I would love to buy that, but I do not have what I need. Oh, we have a basic troll net. That we can use for the coast. What? But it's super expensive as well. Hmm. Not to mention, I think what I could do is install this here. Just like that. Look at that. Now we have enough fishing rods. And here I'm going to have to install the uh, fishing net itself. Um, but first, what I got to do is... Research. And what should I spend this on? Of course, if I research here, I'm going to finish this off. There we go. Wait, what do you mean for sell? Flexible fishing rods. I don't know what this means. A hybrid design allows for a more... Oh, so I think I can now buy this fishing rod because uh, I researched it. And I think I can also spend one to unlock the hydraulic rods. Interesting. You can also spend it for the engines, of course, to make the engines better. You can spend it on the pots to make them better, of course, and also on the nets. Oh, man. This game is getting super duper complicated, and I'm really, really enjoying this. But anyway, guys, this has been a first look at Dredge. If you all enjoyed this and you want me to carry on the journey here, keep on exploring, keep on fishing, keep on seeing what lurks beneath the depths of this crazy game. Let me know down in the comments below. Make sure you leave a like, and I'll see you all in the next one coming up very soon. Bye, everybody.